These lights are so hot. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. I just hit my light. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Yes, I am a boy. And I love it. So, um, I hope you guys learned something new today. Today we are going to learn, um, well, I'm going to teach you my way of how to get a overdrawn, juicy, succulent DFL lip. If you guys don't know what a DSL is, ask your gay best friend, ask your girlfriend, ask your mom. Wait, don't ask your mom. <laughs> ask your dad. <laughs> um, on what DSLs are, but nonetheless, it stands for juicy, succulent lips. Anyways, all you guys need is a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a lip liner, and that's all that you guys need. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'm a little bit hyper because I just saw Ariana Grande. <laughs> yes, I saw her in concert here in Orlando. Yeah! Um, if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, maybe you guys can see ya. But if not, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and let's get right into it. Oh, and real quick, before you watch the tutorial, y'all better subscribe, okay? Thank you. Okay, guys, so first things first, I'm going to start off with, a, like I said, a pencil, a lip gloss, and a lipstick. But really quick, the lipstick and the lip gloss that I'll be using is Nude Lip Gloss by Gerard Cosmetics and Nude Lipstick. This is like my ultimate, ultimate combo. They're $20 each, each but... I have a code PS20. You guys can get each of the both of them together 50% off using the code PS20. The link is below and they have free shipping right now. Right now, if you guys are in the futuro, then I'm sorry, but still that's a great freaking deal. Two for 20 when they're originally $20 each. PS20. Use the code. Anyways, um, I like to take you guys can see this is significantly lighter. I like to take a really dark chocolate poopy brown color. This is more so for drag, but I feel like if I teach my viewers that's something that's really dramatic and dramatized, then, um, is that a word? Dramatized? If I teach you something dramatic, yeah. then you guys can tone it down. I always tell my clients, if I give you a full glam, if I, if I teach you a 10, then you're able to take bits and pieces and tone it down to a 5. But I love Chestnut by MAC. I love MAC's pencils. They're my favorite pencils ever. I like Chestnut. I like Cork. I like Spice. Um, Cork is like my favorite. I love um, Strip Down. Like those brown, chocolate, milky colors. So I'm going to take Chestnut and then I'm going to take my favorite mirror by Candy Lover 89. And it has like a little line in it too. Yeah, you guys see that? It's so cute. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to line my lips. Oh my god. I forgot an important step. Right before I did this part, like the lip part, I took a little bit of my foundation, like the residue from my Morphe Deluxe Buffer Brush and I like prepped the lips. And then what I did was I took my favorite face powder, which is Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder and a big um, G7 brush by Morphe. And you have to prep the lips because if you are going to overline your lips, you wanna make sure that you prep it. And by doing so, um, you're able to conceal and reveal a new lip line, which is what I'm going to teach you today. If you have big DSLs, then forget it. You don't need to do this. Just line your lips like you want. But today I'm gonna teach you how to overdraw your lips. Um, so moving on, I'm gonna take my lip pencil and I'm going to line my lips. This is going to look so ridiculous to some of you, but so fierce to some of you. And if you don't like it, then don't watch it. In the words of Manny. But I don't curse. I'm a lady. So, as you guys can see, I'm lining my lips like so, slowly. And I go over this, by the way, as you guys can see. So there, that's my lip line. But what I'm going to do is my lip line slopes down. But I like it to, to be juicy up top. So what I'm going to do is overline the outsides. Mm -hmm. 
As you guys can see, I created like a, a wide, flat McDonald's sign, like the big M. So it's kind of like two brown arches from McDonald's. I'm loving it. So next, I'm going to feather in the corners and fade it in. So as you guys can see, I'm feathering in the liner. And you kind of want to stretch your lips so it's not so big and you're not so wrinkly. I personally like to add a cupid's bow. You don't have to. And then you should end up with chola lips. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lipstick that I love, which is Nude. It's an amazing pigmented, creamy, like, lip color. It's just that right amount. Mine is janky um, because I take it with me everywhere. It's like that nice, it has like a little bit of peach and coral to it. It's just a perfect nude for me. And what I like to do is I like to, focus. What I like to do is that I like to go start from the middle. This is a tutorial on also how to contour your lips as well. Contour and highlight. That's what we're doing when you overline your lips. That's why I kind of feathered in and contoured the corners. And then now I'm going to highlight with this lipstick. So what I want to do now is I kind of want to go over the brown ass liner and that way it can kind of peek through. I learned a trick from Matthew Anderson, the makeup artist for RuPaul, and I saw his transformation on James St. James and he said to lift any dead brown lip, add a little bit of color, so coral color. So that's what I'm going to do with the gloss. The gloss adds that perfect hint. It just counteracts like the brown, the brownie um, ness of the lip. Because you know like when you see those highlighting and contouring videos where people streak, streak, streak the face. I don't do that for my face because you guys should have watched my highlight and contour video. Um, but for the lips, I like to contour underneath the lipstick so you can kind of have this sort of shape going on. What really helps in this technique is to have a pigmented lipstick. You can't have a sheer tone or cream sheen or luster um, sheen lipstick. You can't. It simply won't work, this technique. That's if you want to overline. Okay, you guys, last but not least, when you're satisfied with your DSL, then take your gloss, and then the one that I'm using again is nude, and then you're just going to pop it in the center. And everything just blends in together. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, so this is the finished, not look, the finished lip, and I hope you guys learned something on how to get this via contouring, highlighting the lip, glossing it up. The gloss is optional, but you know, juicy lips are juicy lips when they're glossy, and I love that, and I hope you guys love this tutorial. Um, this technique can be applied with ombre lips if you want to go for that vampy ombre with like a dark purple liner, like a red lip, or with any color, like purple to pink. Um, tag me on Instagram, hashtag Patrick Star, if you guys try this at home. I hope you guys like it. Um, really quick before I leave this video, my last video, my Cinderella tutorial, I have never felt so overwhelmed with love and warmth, like reading through your comments and I love you and I, wanna, I don't want to get into it because that's not this video, this is a lip video, simply thank you. And before I go, um, don't forget the lip combo of the gloss and the lipstick for $20, 50% off and free shipping! Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, again. I love you, I thank you. Don't forget, life opens up when you do, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Take a look at my nose. What am I gonna say? I always forget. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys! Hey, hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome to Battle.